Hey everybody, my name is Michael DiTullo. Welcome to my studio, and today we're gonna to be drawing a flying saucer. All right, you guys ready to have some fun? One of the good things about drawing a flying saucer is it gives us the opportunity to practice our ovals. A flying saucer is a circle in the top view, right? And in the middle of the circle is where the alien sits is the canopy. But when you draw a circle in perspective, it's an oval. So it's shaped like this. Because as that, that circle starts to, to, to tilt, it becomes a different shape. So if we're looking down on it, it's more circular. If we look at it a little bit lower, more ovular, and if we were to get even lower still, it would be like this. And if we were to look at it from the side, if we were to look at the circle from the side, it'd just be a straight line, right? So that's something good to think about when we're thinking about drawing our flying saucer. So to start, I'm gonna put a nice big oval in the middle of the page. Remember, just like when I did the steam train and the teddy bear, I don't always just go straight down to the line. Sometimes I do a few practice motions with my hand, just like practice. And then once I feel good about it, that's when I put my line down. And see that? My, my line isn't just one line, it's actually a few lines. You know, it's okay, you don't have to get it all in one shot. So that's the basis for our flying saucer. Now, in the center of the flying saucer, we're going to have canopy and that's going to be a second oval but that oval isn't in the middle of this first oval it's pushed up to the side because our flying saucer isn't flat right it's actually kind of a dome shape like you took a, a dinner plate and turned it upside down in fact that's good practice if you take a dinner plate and turn it upside down and look at it from the angle what you'll see are two ovals so the next shape we're going to draw is an arc and that arc is gonna connect the dots here between the apexes of, the, of this oval. And that is gonna be the glass canopy. So again, I'm gonna do a couple practices. Once I feel good about it, I'll put it in there. So that's the beginning of my, my flying saucer with a canopy. Now I want this flying saucer to be a little bit thick. But to be honest, it's, it's kind of hard to just draw an arc like this. It's almost the opposite of the way that my hand wants to move, right? My hand wants to move like this, to get a nice arc like that, because that's the way that my wrist pivots. Can you see that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my page upside down. So now, see that I can get a nice arc just like that without hurting my hand too much. So sometimes it's easier to turn the page than it is to turn your hand. So I need a couple practices. There we go. Got a nice start of the flying saucer there. So the next thing I want to add to our flying saucer are a couple of engines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the, the line that the engine would intersect the saucer right there. And then on the other side of the canopy, there'd be another engine, but you wouldn't quite really see that line because it's curving away from us. And now I'm gonna do this bulge, you know, like the skin of the flying saucers kind of sticking up. You get the back of the engine and, and again, I'm gonna turn my page so that I can get the shape that I want. And at the back of the engine, I'm gonna do some, some big old spaceship thrusters. So on the other side of the canopy, there'd be another engine. Like I said, you can't really see this intersection because it's curving away from us, but you would see the bulge. You would just see the very edge of that other thruster. And then on the bottom of the flying saucer, let's put a, a little wing. So 
So there'd be two wings, but you'd only see the one on the side that's closest to us. There we go. I think since we have a, a glass canopy, we need to see who's, who is uh, flying this flying saucer, right? So let's do a, a nice alien in here. So I wanna start our alien just with a soft triangle. That's gonna be his head. And then add to the head, I'm gonna do two almond shapes and those are gonna be his eyes. And I'll fill those in, a couple of dots for a nose. And I'm gonna get his neck here, the shoulder. This one arm is driving the ship. And then with this arm, maybe he's sticking this arm and he's up in the air and he's, he's waving to us. I'm gonna draw just a little bit of the inside of the ship. So maybe there's a instrument panel here behind our, our little spaceman is a seat. So that's the seat he's sitting on. And then maybe inside the ship, there's just a couple little details there in the background. See how much detail that adds? Just, we didn't add too much, but it has a good feeling to it. All right, so let's start adding some other little details to our ship here. Maybe there's a stripe that runs down the center. And then I always feel like a, a flying saucer. They always have lights on them. So some front and some back lights. You know, for this guy, it's almost like his car. Right? For us, it's a spaceship, but for him, this is just how he gets around. So now that I have my flying saucer, pretty much roughed out. Now I'm gonna start adding some details. So maybe on my thrusters, there's actually some little lines here. So notice how I make the lines get closer as they wrap around the thruster. And then maybe there's some, some panels that come together here. Some little, some little, some little spaceship details. Maybe like a little intake here. And then now I'm gonna get a faded Sharpie. So I'm gonna find an old marker. You can do this with a gray marker. You can do this with a, um, an, an old black marker. So see, I have this really old marker, and because it's old, it doesn't make a nice black line, but instead of throwing it away, I use it to shade my drawings. So I'm gonna flip my page upside down again, and I'm gonna shade the underside of our flying saucer here. See that? That gave us a little bit of dimensionality. I'm gonna do the same thing to our engines here. And so doing that, it does a few different things. It gives us a little bit more shape. It also makes some of those construction lines go away, some of the extra lines from our ovals. So you don't see those quite as much because now you're seeing the shading. And then I wanna add a little bit of color to our spaceship. So maybe this, this stripe is actually a nice red stripe. And sometimes you gotta go over the marker just a few times so it's nice and solid. That's looking pretty good. 
I'm gonna make our, our wing down here. I'm gonna make that red too. Maybe this light in the back is red. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. And maybe our spaceship has some uh, some alien writing on it. And maybe there's just a couple. I'm gonna get my, my light marker again. Some panels that come together. come around here on my edges and, and darken some of the edges of the drawing. So if you watch my other videos, you always hear me say, I always like to darken the lines down that you could, if this was a real thing, if you could reach your hand in here and grab it, that gets a darker line. So, so like this engine, you could reach your fingers down and, and grab on the other side, right? So it's gonna get a little bit of a dark line there. Same with this engine. Same with down here and here. Around the wing. And same with the underside. not going to do it to this line though because that line is it's where two things come together um, but I can't put my fingers behind that line like I can put my fingers behind this line if it was a real thing maybe there's some little details in the light and right around here on the nose all right what else is our our, our flying saucer drawing need maybe uh, he needs to be flying over a moon I think that'd be good I'm gonna do an arc shape like that, and then I'm gonna put some bumps on it. Cause maybe it's this rocky moon, and maybe there's some maybe there's some craters on our moon. And another crater over here. Maybe there's a crater just over the horizon. some dots we have this rocky sandy moon and so you know some of you that watch my other videos know when I draw something that's you know furry or sandy or rocky not smooth I use sometimes I use some stippling to give it that that impression of not being super smooth now, all stippling is 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 dots it's just making dots it was actually really fun Maybe in the background here, there's there's some planets. So maybe it's just, we're just gonna see the little bit of, a, of another planet over here. Maybe it's kind of like a, a Jupiter kind of a planet, a gas giant. And then off in the distance over here, maybe we have like a Saturn. So I did two ovals and I got my, my rings. And then I did another circle and that's the planet of Saturn. Saturn is also a gas giant planet. And we're gonna do a little bit of shading on it. Just like that. And then maybe there's just some, some other little planets and stars back here in the background. And then what should our alien say? Maybe our, our alien is, he's saying something to us. He's gonna say, hi earthlings. And 
There we go. And we got a pretty nice looking spaceship. I think there's just one other thing to do. Gotta sign our drawing. I always sign my drawings. That way, we'll let other people know that you did it. All right, so that was our flying saucer. I hope you all had a lot of fun drawing along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I love to get your feedback and answer any questions that you have. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments. It's really helpful. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, everybody, keep sketching.